Hey, Logan here, the creator of Copilot for Obsidian. It's been a while since I last worked on this project, but I'm back with some exciting new updates. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use some cutting edge open source models in Obsidian with either a free hosted option or completely offline without internet. Let's get started. OpenRouter.ai hosts some of the best open source models at the moment, such as Mistral AI's new models. Check out their websites for all the good stuff they have. For example, they even have Mistral Media. It's closed source, and the official Mistral AI website has a wait list. But you can already use it here. Another great one is the E34B. It supports both Chinese and English. You'll see that open router models are super fast most of the time. Just go to Copilot settings and set the actual model you are going to use. Save and reload, and there you have it. Let's quickly test it out. Okay, it seems working. Let's test its understanding of Chinese. That's correct. LM Studio is the most user-friendly way to run open source models on your local machine. With just a few clicks, just go to their website to download the right version for your OS, and then download the model in the UI. Here I'm using a fine-tuned version of Mistral 7B. In the local server tab, load the model first. And remember to turn on course so that Obsidian can access it. If you're on an Apple Silicon Mac like this one, you can turn on Apple Metal Acceleration. If you use a Windows machine with a good NVIDIA GPU, there's an option to offload some layers to the GPU. OK, let's test it out. The longest river in the world is Nile. Yeah, that's correct. And it's super fast, too. Olama is another great way to run local models. It's not yet available on Windows for now. If you're on a Mac or Linux, just go download and install it to your command line. You can run Olama pool model name. Here, Lama 2 means the 7B model by default. Then we can run Olama surf. Oh, here I made a mistake. You see that the port is already in use. That means we must quit the Olama app first. Now let's try again. OK, it's working. Note that we are setting the Olama origins variable to Obsidian so that Obsidian can access this server. OK, testing time. Turning off the Wi-Fi again. Huh, Lama 2 is quite chatty. And it has a good personality. If you are wondering what's the best model you can run on your local machine, here is a good rule of thumb. So basically go for the biggest model that can fit in your RAM or VRAM. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac, uh, the limit is your RAM. If you have a Windows PC with NVIDIA GPU, the limit is your VRAM. Now I'm going to compare the quality of these models against the King GPT-4 Turbo and see if these smaller models can cover most of our use cases for everyday note-taking. This is going to be fun. We have already tried the local models and the open router one for the first question. So let's start with GPT-4. Nice. The second question tests its understanding of physics. If a lead ball and a feather fall from the same height on the moon surface, which one reaches the ground first? It got it correct. They will reach the ground at the same time. And it even mentions the real experiment on the moon. That's a great answer. This third question is quite tricky for a lot of LLMs. If we lay five shirts out in the sun and it, it takes four hours to dry, how long would 20 shirts take to dry? Common sense tells us we can dry them at the same time. But then it also knows there's a case where we can dry them in batches. That's great, 10 out of 10. Now I'm going to test it with Obsidian specific questions. Give me templator code to get today's date. Return only the code. Let's see if it's correct. Awesome. So it gave me the code without extra explanations. That's a key quality I'm testing. The ability to follow instructions. Next, summarize long text. This essay has a little bit over 10,000 tokens. Let's see how it does. I think it's doing a pretty great job. 
it listed out all the key insights in this essay, and it's very thorough. The next task is to get the top three keywords as tags. Dubs wealth technology. That works. Let's see if it's correct syntax. Okay, good. GPT-4 Turbo is doing a great job. It's passing with flying colors. Now it's the last one. I came up with this toy example to let it create a flowchart. Let's see if it works. Wow, that's correct in one try. Do I have one meal? Yes, quit my job, go to Vegas. No, go back to work, think about quitting. And it even successfully identified the loop. It got all the questions right. Now let's see how its little brother GPT 3.516K does. Okay, first factual question, correct? Yeah, it will reach the ground at the same time. And it reasons whether there's air resistance. That's right. Oh, here comes the tricky one. Haha, -ha, it falls into the trap. It's hanging shirts in series. You get an F for this one. Let's see if it does well on the templator code. Oh no. It gives us the wrong code and a bunch of explanations. How about summary? You can clearly see that this summary has a lower quality than GPT-4. But I guess I'll be generous and give it a pass. Top three keywords. Let's see. Startup wealth technology. OK, that works. Now the mermaid test. It's not giving us the markdown format with the three ticks. So let's add it manually. That's not right. It's missing going to Vegas. But it did identify that loop. Good job for that. But I'm going to give, give it a fail. Let's see if Gemini Pro can beat GPT 3.5. Nile River. Oh, wow. It doesn't like to chat. Straight to the point. Both reach the ground at the same time. Straight to the point again. Air resistance. It also cited the actual experiment, which is awesome. I really like it. Now let's see if it falls into the trap for this one. Hmm. Four hours. Wow. It's so intelligent. Great job, Google. Now the templator check. Okay, the code is right, it seems, but it gave me a bunch of explanations when I explicitly asked for only the code. Sorry, I'm going to give it a fail for this one. Okay, summary. It's taking slightly longer than GPT, but the streaming is actually fine. It's a little bit like Azure OpenAI. Sometimes comes in batches. I think it's a okay summary. I would say it's a little bit better than GPT 3.5, 16K. So I'm giving it a pass for this one. Three top keywords. Measurement, leverage, smallness. That's a little bit weird, but okay. I'm being really generous here. It actually at least gets the syntax correct, right? Speaking of syntax, let's see if it can get the mermaid correct. Hmm. Oh. That actually worked. Do I have one meal? Yes, quit my job, go to Vegas. No, go back to work, think about quitting. And the loop, nice. Wow, it did a little bit better than GPT 3.5. Congrats, Google. Now our open source model, Dolphin Mixture 8x7b. Huh, why is it mentioning the weak gravitational force? creating significant difference. The answer is crap, but the reasoning is kind of weird. Let me ask it a follow-up question to make sure um, it really understands physics. Reach the ground at the same time, no air resistance. Okay, I'd give it a pass. Mm, that's fail. Templator code. Oh, it seems it doesn't know about templator. I think it's a little bit better than the GPT 3.5 one, don't you think? Speed-wise, I think it's actually a little bit faster than Gemini. Considering that Open Router is free, it actually blows my mind. It's so good. Last challenge. 
mermaid diagram. Let me quickly show you the prompt I used. It's actually quite explicit. Let's see if it's right. Do I have one mil? Yes, be my job. Go to Vegas and go back to where think about quitting. It did not identify the loop though, and there's an extra end. So I'm still gonna give it a pass because the syntax is right and it's an open source model. I'm gonna be generous. Let's see the local one. Mistral 7B. Oh, that's so fast. Nice, that's correct. Okay, it assumes series again. So it seems that um, smaller models have a hard time with this question. Okay, also it doesn't know about templator. That's understandable. That's valid JavaScript though. It's taking a little bit more time because it's local. You see that the Wi-Fi is off. I didn't speed up or uh, slow the footage. This is the actual time. <laughs> you see CPU is running. Okay, now it's working. It's a good summary on the level of GPT 3.5. Top three keywords. Mm. You see my prompt actually asked it to format like this, but I'm not sure why the new lines are still there, literally. But startup, Synology, Wealth, these are good keywords. I'm gonna give it a pass. Usually um, more time is needed for tuning the prompts for smaller models. It's not as easily tamed as GPT-4, but it's just a fact for now. Considering it's local, it's actually quite intelligent. This last one can be quite tough for a local model. Let's see. Oh, it even gives us some explanation. Okay, this is clearly not correct. But considering that it got the syntax right, it's already something. Also in the text explanation, it identified the loop, but it couldn't draw it out. I'm gonna give it a fail. Okay, let's welcome our last contestant, Lama2 from Olama. I'm gonna eject the LM Studio model to regain some RAM back. It's so fast. It smirks. I would predict the lead ball will reach the ground first. That's not right. Fail. I don't know why it always likes to adjust their glasses. Huh. Take eight hours for. That's interesting. Ah, uh, that's not right. What even is this? Wow, the summary is much faster than LM Studio. I'm impressed. The performance is actually great. It's written in Go. But I think the um, the summaries, the bullet points are not that on point. I'm still giving it a pass considering that uh, it's fast and it returns correctly. But the summaries themselves, they are kind of off topic. Oh, this is strange. I thought I triggered the keyword co command, but it's still giving me summary. Again, what is going on? Restart the server. Let's see if it's some bug. What? Why is it giving me the summary? Check the debug info. I can clearly see my keyword prompt is there. So it's not following my instruction. Hmm, that's a fail though. That is a fail. The toughest one, mermaid diagram. Oh, it's marked now. Let me change to mermaid. Syntax error, that's a fail. Okay, that's all the contestants. This is by no means a rigorous or a scientific test. 
is just to get a feel of the quirks of these models. Then what can we conclude from this test? First, Gemini Pro is the closest to the king, GPT-4 Turbo. But in my experience, it's not very consistent and may require careful prompting. In this video, it performed quite well. Olamos Llama 2 is faster than LM Studio's Mistral 7B for long context tasks. The model itself has a lower quality, but you can switch to other models. For example, you can also use Mistral 7B with Olama. The Dolphin Mistral 8x7B is awesome sometimes better than GPT 3.5. This result is also supported by some open benchmarks. Personally, I'm quite excited to see what Mistral AI will give us next. Some claim that their Mistral medium closed source model is as good as GPT 4 for coding. That's a really bold claim. I will test that out. I think the main takeaway here is that GPT-4 Turbo might not be needed for the average task. We now have great and free options. Just play with open source and local models to get more out of them. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I will soon have a big revamp coming up for the plugin. If you are interested, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the little bell to get notified. Thank you.